Jacksonville neighborhood in ruins after a massive fire explodes over the weekend, jumping from a construction site to an apartment complex and homes. And while investigators search for the cause, officials tell us this fire actually happened in essentially a giant tinderbox. Our Trevor Alt on the scene to show us why they're saying that. Trevor? Hey, Jeff, yeah, getting to see this damage, I got to tell you, it really is staggering just in the scope and the scale. I want to show you behind me. You're seeing so many different boarded up doors and boarded windows. All of these vehicles surrounding this area in three different directions are incinerated. They're charred. They're hollowed out. And what was a three story apartment complex under construction is now just a pile of black and rubble. And you can't help but notice as you drive through this neighborhood how close all of these buildings and houses are right next one one, two, three, four, all next to each other. And neighbors told me they were worried that something like this could happen. We are all so concerned because of how fast it got it got to the point of what it was. The danger was immediate for the dozens of neighbors forced to flee from Sunday's massive fire, but the concern this could happen had already been there. And they're just filling this neighborhood with more lim more lumber. I mean, <laughs> it's it's the perfect storm. While the cause of the fire is still under investigation, we know it started here in what was an apartment complex under construction because none of the flame resistant material had been brought in yet. Officials tell me it was basically a three story tinder box. A normal home has certain safety features to prevent fire from spreading, which this is essentially, as they described, a pile of lumber that, that caught on fire. Making things worse, the compact layout of the neighborhood with homes close by on three sides, making it incredibly easy for those flames to jump from house to house. To Alton Valley Fire and Rescue told me this was actually considered one of the safest neighborhoods in the state for fire prevention. A hundred percent of the homes here have sprinkler systems, but a construction site doesn't. And a fire Fire this big, wildfire like in scope, made those sprinklers useless. Today, with destruction in every direction, law enforcement agencies are trying to figure out how it all began. We need to cover our basis uh, in case it does end up being a criminal investigation. Uh, but at this point, we're trying to determine the cause and origin of the fire. And tonight, two dozen people have been displaced because of this fire and how much it spread. We know that 20 homes have been destroyed. And while this investigation is still ongoing, we don't know quite yet how much firefighters have figured out. They will be updating Wilsonville City Council officials later on tonight. Reporting live in Wilsonville, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News.